We tell stories at Milwaukee PBS. Here's one you may have missed. I'm Sandy Max, host of the Arts Page. We bring you art stories from around Wisconsin and around the world. For the last 10 years, the Pfister Hotel's Artist in Residence program gives a selected artist a dedicated space and a full year to devote to their artwork right in the hotel lobby studio, where visitors and locals can experience an artist at work. Artists generally rely on products, but what artists are doing with the Pfister Residency program is they're providing a service, a professional service. Their product is what they bring along with the experience. For the last 10 years, the historic Pfister Hotel has transformed their lobby studio into an artistic experience for all who wander in. Being in the Pfister Hotel, it's just a beautiful place. As, as an artist, I felt welcome, and it felt that everyone on the, uh, the Pfister family constantly treated us like guests. As the very first Pfister artist in residence in 2009, Milwaukee native Reginald Baylor painted works inspired by the hotel's Victorian art collection with his unique style of color and lines. As time has passed... The work has changed and I produce all my work digitally. Now I do no longer um, hand paint artwork. To me it's the same um, act of being artistic. It's just the materials are different. The result of being in the program, I think, elevated my level of professionalism as an artist when it comes to staying with my art and then what experience am I providing. In 2010, portrait artist Katie Musolf was inspired by the Fister's employees, especially renowned concert pianist Dr. Jeffrey Hollander. Since completing her residency, Musolf has evolved her painting style to focus on local flora and fauna. Her detailed watercolors are studies of the plants and animals she observes near her Stoddard, Wisconsin home. Painter Shelby Keefe took over the artist's studio in 2011. What intrigued me about having my residency at the Pfister was that it was downtown, and that was my favorite subject matter, was painting downtown urban landscape scenes. The Artist in Residency program really opened up my career as an artist here in Milwaukee. So many people walk through the Pfister and they're so intrigued by what's going on in that little room there. They wanted to see how you did what you did. They may want it so bad that they have to have a painting or whatever it is that you make. And so I've been doing custom work for people who remembered meeting me at the Pfister. In 2012, sustainable fiber artist Timothy Westbrook transformed the studio into an eco-conscious fashion house, combining Victorian-era weaving and sewing techniques with disposable materials like plastic bags and cassette tapes. While I was the artist in residence at the Pfister, uh, this is the first piece that I created there. Um, this is wool with the cassette tape. And because it was the first piece and it was a sample dress, I worked with all demo tapes. Since his residency, Westbrook competed on the reality show Project Runway and moved to New York City. He is the founder of T.L. Brook, a sustainable fashion line of clothing created by repurposing discarded umbrellas. In 2013, Stephanie Behrens focused her residency on the stories of the people who traveled and stayed at the hotel. She also collaborated with the Fister's narrator, Molly Snyder, to create a book about their shared experiences. Today, Behrens lives and works in Shanghai, China, teaching art and creating artworks about encounters in her new location in a new series titled The Transient Pause. Multimedia artist Nikki Johnson spent her 2014 residency creating sculptures shaped like Victorian bathtubs and decorated with illustrations from fairy tales. People come into my space and look at these child-sized bathtubs I was making. The conversation would go something like, oh, so these aren't functional though. And this is the point where I got to answer, but they do function because it gets you to think about the way that we understand our world through this Victorian lens even today. The Pfister was an excellent training ground 
for knowing how to remain present with people who are in the moment of experiencing something for the first time. Nikki Johnson is currently creating thought-provoking expressive art made from unconventional materials like an AR-15 assault rifle and metal fencing. In 2015, Todd Mrozinski painted silhouettes of the people and places of the Fister. To be in that space and never really know who is going to walk in to the studio, people coming in and interacting with me, me giving them my full attention. And if they were interested enough, sometimes I'd ask them, would you like to be part of the series? But it was all about the experience of coming into the studio and having this ex new experience in transforming their ordinary day into something extraordinary. Mrozinski continues to create art in Milwaukee. He still works with light and shadows, but has shifted his focus to capturing nature in the present moment. Abstract painter Pamela Anderson covered her studio walls in bright colors during her residency in 2016. It gave wonderful new layers to the work that I was doing. Everything affected my practice while I was in that program. My time in the artist residency program was incredibly busy. I realized at the end of the program how much stronger I had become and I felt more relaxed, I found it easier to talk about my work. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. Pamela Anderson continues to paint and now is also creating sculptures. 2017 artist in residence, Margaret Musa transported visitors back to the 1800s to create her tintype photos. The Fister is one of my favorite buildings in downtown Milwaukee. I love history and I love old things. That's what drew me to do the type of photography I do. And so I just felt so honored that I got to call that home for a year. Margaret Musa now takes her cameras outdoors and on the road to create her latest wet plate photos. I definitely will forever be thankful for how adventurous and trusting the program was with me and my vision for my work. Watch the Arts Page on Milwaukee PBS and watch online at milwaukeepbs.org.